All right then, Warzone Urzik starting solos. Let's get into this. I hope that this version of Warzone keeps me more entertained than the previous one. I'm going to go for this scav over here. Throwing it back to like the Verdance days. I used to do this all the time. I would try and go for a scav straight off the rip. Try and get the cash you need for a loadout. The game is very different from when I used to play it back in Verdance. But I absolutely love solos, man. I feel like solos is the way Battle Royale should be played. Like, I know that lots of people like playing quads because they want to play with their friends. But I just love... Where's this scav? Oh, it's down here. Um, I just love playing solo. I feel like it was always intended to be a solos game mode. You are literally the last person standing if you win. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's see uh, Let's see what we can do in this round. Decent gun, MCW. Probably not. I'm still getting used to these MW3 guns. I know that the Holger is pretty decent. 30 round mag's not that great, but we are in solo, so I guess it's probably fine. How do I get to that? It's under the ground. Okay. Let's go have a look. Is there like a tunnel? No tunnel in here. It, it's definitely under the ground. Is it glitched? It's definitely under the ground, isn't it? Mark the Lucas. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, okay. I was being stupid. Oh, there's the tunnel here. This is the train tunnel. I've never been to this part of the map. Played a lot of zombies so far. I've not been to this part of the map yet. Ah, oh, throw me. That's absolutely thrown me, that has. Two supply boxes secured. One remaining. Just one more left. Is that the round seven? Nice. Let's go. That was in MW, uh, MW19. Really liked the uh, really liked the round back then. This build doesn't look too great, though. The 60 round drum mag's throwing me because I think the round back in MW19 didn't have 60 round mag. But yeah, that is the train tunnel. Interesting to know that this route's here. I might use that in the future. There is a most wanted on the map over there. There's the contract. Medic vest. Nice. I'll take that. Blemyot. The pull me off. <laughs> As Tomo calls it. Let's see if we can kill this, this most wanted. Oh. 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 Classic Warzone server problem. <laughs> oh, God. Just so you guys know, I'm recording this about three hours after the launch of Warzone Urzikstan, and I had my fair share of, of internet and graphical issues when I first launched the game earlier when I was streaming, but uh, I thought I'd jump on and do some solos afterwards. Uh, so yeah, if you see any lags and stuff, you know, it's day one. Uh, I'm expecting plenty of problems. Where is this guy? Mine, thank you very much. Ouch. Someone else was definitely looking at that most wanted. Alright, let's get some distance and see if we can spot this guy. Loadout drop headed your way. Oh. God, my aim is awful. Gotta dial in that sensitivity, man. I've spent too long playing DMZ in my in my comfy slippers. This is Sweatville. I gotta be better than that. Oh, he could kill me, actually. Oh, he's a sniper. Okay. I got very lucky on the zip line there. He's a decent shot as well. Nice. I got very lucky he didn't snipe me on that zip line. Just not gonna hit him here. Hit him from here with this gun. It's not accurate enough. Okay. Well, he can't shoot me through here. Oh, someone else can shoot him. This could be helpful, actually. Maybe they'll distract him. You can see he's trying to snipe me through the metal. Uh, how did I just die? Oh, he killed him and then he killed me? And no glint because of the low zoom on the sniper. Okay, fair play. Nice snipe. Nice snipe. Okay, striker in the gulag. If we can win it. I've only played this twice at COD Next. Apparently, there's three different layouts to it. There he is. There's the zip. Yeah, won the gulag. Fantastic. I like that in the gulag, there's a little bit of time after you, after you kill someone. You can grab some loot off the ground. I like that feature. Okay, let's go for my loadout. 
need to actually have guns that I want to use. That Ram 7 was okay, but long range it was left much to be desired. Here we go. Right, let's grab this loadout. Use the tack. Down. I've got the Rival 9 on for like movement. Nice bit of cash. Bombs vest. Yes, let's go. Okay, that's good. I like that feature. Being able to like manually put on and take off your gas mask. When you take it off though, it takes up a slot in your backpack. I don't know why that is. I don't know why Raven didn't just like make it a completely separate part of your loadout so it doesn't take up a, a bag slot. I guess if the like most of the time I'm just you're gonna be just carrying like plates, maybe a spare self res, maybe a spare, maybe a spare like kill streak in your backpack, something like that. But I don't know. I feel like a gas mask. Should have like its own slot outside the bag so it doesn't take up that valuable space. Just trying to like work my way back to where I was before I died. I'm not quite there. There's another most wanted. I was literally just in that building. I'm not kidding, like 20 seconds ago. Okay, that was the easiest kill I'll ever get. That guy was super low health at that point. That that was genuinely the easiest kill I'll ever get in Warzone Urzikstan. Especially on day one. It's like Sweatville at the moment. Okay, so that must have been the most wanted calling in a precision airstrike on the guy that I just killed. So I totally robbed his kill. Just moved out of the building. There he is. Mm. Maybe not my smartest move, that one. Now he knows that someone's here ready to shoot him. Oh, he's going for the quad bike. Man, I really like the tack, but my god, does it throw me off when it like has that rapid fire at the beginning? And then it slows the velocity down. Not the velocity. The rate of fire. I popped his tire. <laughs> he like bounced up in the air. You're losing ground. Okay, no one's near me. That's good. But yeah, um, it really throws me off. I really like it, like sort of mid-range. Maybe longer range is not the way to use it. And just have that rapid fire in mid-range to really get the damage in. And then it sort of like slows down and you can get the last few shots for a kill. I want to go after this guy. That's two most wanted in like the same place. Fair enough, I got killed by a guy, but hey ho. I'm going to check this. Know this from my zombies runs. Those uh, ground caches in BR seem to have quite a bit of decent stuff in them. If you're running low on cash, just try and learn some of the locations of those. That's the most wanted he's just taken off. I really want this guy, but someone else appears to want to kill me. Ouch. Thank God this little hut was here. Play up. I really want to kill this uh, most wanted. I don't want him to get away. Most wanted contract right here. Right, didn't want to mark the contract. Wanted to actually mark the here. most wanted. My the guy's just like thrown himself up in the air. Where's he off to? Oh, he's being shot at. That's my kill. My kill. Go away, other solo player. This is mine. All I can think of is this in Zombies. It's just like an ether hideout or whatever it's called. The map looks so different with the art style. Like, it's so much lighter. So much lighter. Yes. Hey. Ow. <laughs> got, the, uh, got the most wanted guy. That's what I wanted to do. Nearly died in the attempt, because the other guy wanted to kill him. But no, my most wanted. Thank you very much. Okay, we've got a jailbreak coming in. Kind of want to make my move now before somebody takes a rooftop. I can guarantee some people are going to try and drop these roofs. I'm still a fair distance away, though. There's a zip line over here. I like the way that there's lots of like zip lines up onto roofs and stuff. Multiple routes to get onto roofs on this map. It's just really nice. One little tip I will give you. Don't do what I did at the bottom of that zip line and hit the zip line at the bottom. Before you get to it, jump and then hit your interact button as you jump. So when you're close to the zip line and you will completely skip the hook on animation at the bottom. Just like that when I parachuted over, there was no Enemy hook on animation. Incoming. You will completely skip it if you jump at the bottom of the, uh, of the zip line. Damn it. Oh, I got the assist. Someone killed him. Counter UAVs up there, blind. Right. Got my own roof. Counter UAV deployed. Running you kind of give away your position with the counter UAV. 
Like, because on other people's mini-maps, it's like scrambles it. See, that's what I mean about the tack there. Fair enough, I wasn't controlling recoil very well, but it throws me off with the, the rate of fire. Makes me feel like it's, like, going to do... It makes me feel like it's going to perform differently, and then after, like, five bullets, it just goes back to being slow. So it's um, definitely an acquired taste. I think, I think it's going to be really good in, in BR, at least at the moment, the way it's balanced, but... Um, yeah, this guy. Sniper, yeah, enemy sniper. Okay. I don't have a sniper, so I'm not really in the best position to, to fight that man. Counter UAV is bingo fuel. RTV at this time. Oh. So yeah, if you jump onto the zipline, you just go straight on. It's a really good feature, actually. I really like it. Shame that it doesn't just do it from the bottom as well. You kind of have to, like, get through that little loop. This guy shouldn't be able to see me down here anymore. Should be all good. Okay, 20 left. Oh. Should have had him. Should have killed that guy. Oh, he's just looped under. Well, he's in here now. Hmm, I thought he might, like, land on the, the stepladder, but he's not. Ah, oh, damn it. God damn it. He must have been like hit fire shooting me as he got off the zip line. And we'll see it. Ooh, that was a bit weird. Like, yeah, I think he like panicked as he saw me. Oh well. Let's give another go. So, you join me in progress in my second solo game of the evening. Um, as you can see by the kill total, nothing has happened. Literally nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, started just up the hill over the other side there, further to the uh, to the east, uh, to the west, sorry. Bloody hell. I should get this right, really, shouldn't I? I'm so not used to doing the call-outs. Oh, damn, it's going to be a slow process. But at least now I'm being hunted. That should provide some level of entertainment for you. But yeah, I just started looting up on the hill over there, just some basic loot. Managed to get a scav contract, enough for a loadout. Bought my loadout from uh, Portable Buy. And... Um, yeah, I've basically just been on this crane for like the last two minutes. Just trying to see if anyone's here. You know, doing my usual solo stuff. This is like my actual play style, by the way, guys. You know, oh, hang on. That's my bounty. Okay. Where did he go? There he is. Found him. Oh, I can't get the angle. Yolo Thermite. Nope. Got to get those thermite throws down. That was one of my trademarks in Warzone 1. Absolutely loved lobbing a long-range thermite. I've also got to cure this uh, competitive reload disorder that I've got. Plate break up a chest. Come on. Peek again. Nice snipe. Oh, going for the precision, are we? I hope this doesn't get me. Please don't get me. Please don't get me. It didn't get me. Okay, water's actually super visible in this game. So let's see how far away we can get from this guy. If he's aggressive. I know he's got a sniper, so he might not be the most aggressive player in the world. Might just get away with this. Okay. Made a little uh, solo loadout as well. So I'm running uh, tempered as, as a perk. So I've just got a two plate rather than, than a three. I think it makes sense as a solo player. I've also got like double time, battle hardened and ghost on I think. You can see that down on the bottom right. Ghost only works in Warzone Urzikstan if you're moving. So you might see me doing like a lot of shuffling around in the spot. Like doing little circles and stuff. That's purely so that I can keep ghost engaged. Again, I think it's like super important perk for uh, a solo battle royale. And I've also got this Bass B. Bass B whatever it's called <laughs> um hopefully it's uh it's a good build 45 round mag on it we shall see whether it uh, pays dividends where did this guy go i want to know i downed him he downed me it's one all we need to fight to see who's gonna win but he's disappeared i don't know where he's gone this area right here gives me kind of verdansk vibes perhaps not the old town over there but like the the freight port, like the seaport. What's it called? Cargo. There you go. Urzikstan Cargo. 
This gives me like major Verdansk vibes from the from the port on that map. In fact, in general, this map just like it really genuinely does give me those vibes. It's not the same, obviously, it's not. And like the the color grading on the map is it's mu there's more vibrancy to it. Like Verdansk was very grey, like very Soviet brutalist. That this is not quite like that. This is like a I don't know like a modern version of like that yeah, sort of style, moving. mixed in with like Middle Eastern as well. But, I don't know. I'm just kind of getting this vibe. Movement gives me a little bit of a feeling of MW19 Warzone. You know, we've got the Ram 7 back in the game now. That literally is an MW19 gun. I kind of hope they, like, bring back, like, the Car 98 or something. I'd really like that. Just bring back the Car 98. The only thing is, is at the moment, the AMR, the sniper that, I, that I'm using, that is the only one-shot headshot sniper rifle in the game. That's the only one. So, of all the new sniper rifles and marksman rifles they've added with MW3 and the MW2 ones, the only one that can do one-shot headshots is the AMR at any range. So, if you headshot somebody with this thing, any range, it will uh, it will down or it will kill someone if they don't have a self-res, or it'll down them if they do. And was somebody that just pinged up on that portable radar? But where did they go? I think they were just in one of these two little buildings, like the circle one. Damn it, I tried to jump on the zip line and failed. Let's just take the, um, let's take the redeploy. Let's get ourselves somewhere else. Okay, let's find a high point that I can take. Definitely a little bit further into the circle. There's someone moving around in that dome up there. This is probably the other highest point that I can take. Is that a bomb drone? Look at it go. Enemy bomb drone, Mark. <laughs> There's definitely somebody down there that sent that bomb drone over. And they now know there's somebody in that dome as well. There was somebody running around in that as I parachuted over, so... I'm not the only one that knows somebody's up there. That is properly, like, a nice power position. Because from that dome, you can look down the hill to the water. Obviously, all this knowledge coming from me playing zombies so much, but... Um, we're in a better spot now. Hopefully still with the with the sniper. We can, uh, we can do some damage. Still no kills in this round, and we're down to 20 players. Welcome to solos, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Yeah, See you later. See you later, my friend. God, they keep catching my eye, those things. The redeploy drones that move in as the gas moves. I think it's a really good feature. But they keep catching my eye. I keep thinking it's like a guy parachuting across or something. We finally got a kill! We finally got a kill. I feel like... <laughs> okay, that's obviously not doing too well. I thought that skin would be really good on Urzikstan with the, with the police siren and everything. We have our kill. We have accomplished something. Oh, fighting. There's somebody up there. I saw them earlier and they've been really quiet up until now. Apart from the bomb drone that nearly tried to take them out, I guess. Definitely just had a fight with somebody. He's like running around doing that that, that plating thing around. where they just make loads of Go mad ahead. moves and just plate so that people can't shoot them again. Just so conscious there's going to be people in and around here. Oh. There you go. Oh, he's fighting for me. Hey! Oh. Come on. There we go. Nice. I definitely only got a one shot down there because uh, because that other guy had done the damage. 100%. That's why I got that. Okay, there's a redeployed balloon over here. Oh, it's going to be tough to get to. There's probably going to be like loads of people hanging around in here. In fact, no, there's only 15 players left. 14 players left. Maybe I'll get to this. And then I'll maybe put myself right up at the top of the map. Or, well, the south of the map, so really far towards the edge. Okay, we made it. There you go. Again, the zip line kicking in because I jumped. Didn't hit the bottom of the zip line and stand stationary. Oh, I think there's someone down the bottom there. Yep. There is somebody down the bottom there. I don't think they've seen me. No, they had definitely not seen me. Ah, you've still got oh, there's someone else here. Thank you very much. Hey! <laughs> we just doubled our kill count in about 10 seconds. 
This game has gone from absolutely no action at the beginning to four sniper kills. I'll take that. This is the guy from the dome. I still got to figure out the bullet velocity. I think the build that I've got on this AMR is the highest bullet velocity you can get. That does come at the expense of about 700 millisecond ADS time, which is rough. Like the ADS is, it takes a long time to ADS with this gun. Oh, I feel actually feel like I'm back in Verdansk now. Sitting on the top of the tower with a sniper rifle. This feels like I'm back in Verdansk. This is what I used to do all the time in solos. I was such an idiot for doing it. I just couldn't resist going up these towers and like playing some like sniper overwatch kind of thing. Let's play there. Ooh, got the armor break. That would have been a really nice follow up if that had worked. Ah, he's sniping me. We've got, we've got no idea of the bullet drop. <laughs> Look at that bullet drop. Oh, man. Hopefully he won't actually shoot me whilst I'm here. I do have to move, though. Oh, still trying to shoot me. Okay. Oh, the armor break. Oh, another armor break. No. Just a little bit higher on the body and I would have got two downs there. That would have been incredible. I'm already feeling it. This uh, this AMR. I just like the look of it anyway. Because obviously like a 50 cal. Kind of like Barrett style looking thing. But um, yeah, I'm liking this. Probably my best play is to take this little blue roof. That really hurt. Like booty bounced off of the rock there. Yeah, I think maybe if I take this roof here. That is the other side. I kind of didn't want to go this side because it's the exposed side. Let's see what we can do. Hang on. Is that guy... I thought I heard somebody below me. Oh, I might have heard that. Someone's driving around in the... Are oh, you driving around in the glitched LTV? <laughs> you can just see straight through it. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right, we're actually in the end game here. This will be interesting. <laughs> I can't believe the skin's not rendering. Okay, I know he's still got the full protection because I tried to snipe the guy and obviously I just did like vehicle damage. But, um. <laughs> Check that player's not there. Oh, that's quite mine. Always protect yourself. Ah, uh, I think this guy saw me as I put that down. Yeah, he did. He definitely saw me. God damn it. Okay. I've now either got a player that's going to sit below me knowing I have to move at some point. And there's another player over there. Or they're going to try and push up. And I've got another player on the other side of that fence that keeps looking at me. Yep, there we go. Try and fire some shots. At this point, there's no point me taking a shot unless I'm absolutely going to nail someone, so. Because the rechamber time and the reload time on this gun is a little bit. Gas is not closing in. Get to the new safe zone. I'm going to come across. So worried about this guy below me as well. Oh. Nice shot, dude. Can I get myself? Nah, I can't get it. Listen, oh, it's Groovy Boy. It's the guy that we <laughs> we had the battle earlier. He was the guy that was on the crane over at Cargo. Oh, I kind of want him to win now. I came fifth. Okay, fair enough. And it was a nice snipe from him. Fair play. I kind of want this guy to win now. Can I spectate? Yeah, I can spectate. Let's do it. Why not? Is that, is that full interstellar on that on that gun he had there, or I don't know. At, at any point, at any rate, he's a good player. I kind of I want him to win. He seems to know what he's doing. Come on. Okay, well done. Play it up. It's one v one v one. It's a three way finish off. <laughs> oh, he's got the heartbeat sensor. Look. He's got the heartbeat sensor. This guy's a proper solo player. You're running heartbeat yes, sensor. Oh. 
lucky there. Oh, he repeaked it! No way. Oh, he's panicking a little bit. He's panicking. No way, actually, no, he, no, he's not panicking. He's playing it perfectly. He's got himself back in the big zone before he has to move. Okay, that was a big mistake. <laughs> he's now lost his last uh, Semtex. That's right. Pour out that heartbeat sensor. Yes, good solo player. I wish we could actually see the heartbeat sensor. That would be good. Still 1v1v1. Keeps looking to the left, and then he just looked to the... Oh, did you see that guy on the right? Yeah, there he goes. He just hopped up again. Both of them must be showing up. Go on. Come on, groovy boy. Put him in the ground. Oh, no, he's got a right shield. <laughs> Classic solo. Oh, no, it's now 1v1 with the right shielder. He just ran into that loot. I think he tried to see if he had the same lethals. Oh, no, he's been stunned. Yes, he got the win. Let's go. <laughs> Groovy boy, you are my winner, my friend. You are my winner.